feels like spring. A little early taste. We're going up to plus four today in Moose Jaw. The championship pool is well underway here in Moose Jaw. Some teams have put the pedal down, making a push for the weekend. One come across, kick it away. They are trying to keep their playoff hopes alive, but back-to-back -back losses have put a big dent in PEI's championship aspirations. While Krista McCarvel and her squad control their destiny, keep winning, and you're in. So draw 18, it is Northern Ontario PEI as the Scotties continues. Just three days of play remain here at Mosaic Place. Championship round will wind up today. Let's get you caught up on what happened last evening in the second draw of the championship round, and we'll pick up Manitoba PI. And this was in the first. Harry Anderson and the team from Gimli have looked very, very good. And take the game right to Prince Edward Island from first and look at this. Quiet. Come around, tap it back, sit down, pick up three, and they go on to the win over Burt and the team from Prince Edward Island. Ontario wins again over the defending champions, Team Canada. The wild card, Jennifer Jones, is a winner, and Northern Ontario in an extra over British Columbia. So we already know three teams that have qualified for the page playoff system. We just don't know where they're going to settle out. So we've got Ontario. Manitoba and Team Wildcard. The rest are all playing for that one remaining spot. But right now, advantage McCarville and Northern Ontario by one game in the loss column. And on this Friday afternoon, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to Moose Jaw. Cheryl Russ alongside. We forget, you know, that PEI's Suzanne Burt actually took off a couple of years. She was frustrated with the game, but last year came back, nearly made the playoffs. And here she is this year. Yeah. One game, maybe two games away. Wow, I think last year field them and they sat down and said, what if we did some things differently? What if we played more? They doubled the events this year. What if we worked a little harder at nutrition, fitness, technique? And they also brought in Jason Gunlickson and they worked with him on strategy and tactics. And now what you're seeing this week is a team. They put all the hard work in and this success is not by chance. Krista McCarville is a wonderful, skilled curler, but maybe what she does best is handle pressure. Yeah, we watched that last night, didn't we, with British Columbia. Perfect hit and roll in the 10th end, or they lose Northern Ontario. Aiming at a buried rock around a tight guard in a slow spot makes a tap back to give herself a chance to win the 11th end, and then a perfect hit to execute the victory. Her technique's flawless. My father always said to Glenn and I, under the gun, it's all about the technique. McCarvel has it. It's too bad you two didn't listen to your father. <laughs> it is Northern Ontario against BEI. When we do come back to Moose Shot. You gotta be in every game. You gotta be tough. Execute. Stick with your game plan. You know, I just think we have to be ourselves and not get wrapped up in a lot of things. And we really feel we've worked hard and we'd love to win. You wanna come to the competition, you wanna play the best teams there are, and you know, winning it with a field like this just makes it even better. So if we wanna win it, we're gonna beat the best. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires. By Sponge Towels, nothing absorbs like it. And by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. And so it is, Prince Edward Island, against Northern Ontario on this Friday afternoon. We'll see who just may get into the playoffs. Time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how the team from the Montague Curling Club, Prince Edward Island, Suzanne Burt, backed up by Michelle McQuaid, Megan Hughes, and Marie Christensen. The Northern Ontario champions from the Fort William Curling Club in Thunder Bay. Krista McCarville, along with Jen Gates, Ashley Cipolla, and Kendra Lilly.
PEI has won the draw to the button. So Suzanne Burt will have last draw playing the Red Stones. Northern Ontario, the yellow. So the brush is down right in the middle of the uh, 12 foot. And to get us underway, the Northern Ontario lead is Jen Gates. So we have to do a little bit of housekeeping. The uh, ice makers have, in fact, touched up the stones. And we think of it like this, the skates got dull, so you went to the ice, uh, the, uh, the sharpening machine, and you, you sharpened it. So basically that's what they've done. And the teams were forewarned. They did it before yesterday's games. A couple of teams got caught, but uh, the reason was they noticed, they saw that the ice was getting straighter rust, and that's why they had to do it. Yeah, they don't have a choice, really. And, and uh, they try to control the, uh, the difference, the harsh difference. Once you sand them, they're going to go off the planet. They're going to be slower. So then you would clip the ice a little bit better, uh, differently. It would take less off. And the pregame before pregame practice, and that calms the rocks down again. It's it's that balancing act of how much to clip, how sharp are the rocks, and uh, it did curl a little more, and it did fool Northern Ontario. Let's check the keys to the game, and we will start with Prince Edward Island. Well, you have to talk about when I looked at how close these teams were. The advantage for Prince Edward Island was the hammer. They were definitely converting more with hammer than Northern Ontario was, and that's how they were putting points on the board. And then when I looked at the numbers between Krista and Suzanne Burt, McCarville's only at 68% on her draws, and conversely, Suzanne, 85%, so really pushed Krista to some precise draws out there. And the keys now for Northern Ontario. Well, the glass has to be half full here. Uh, Kendra Lilly's her low game of the week at the third position, 61%, her high game, 94. So which one's are going to be? 88 last night when they really needed her in that extra end victory over British Columbia. And then leave room for McMarvel. Krista, we've talked about it a lot already. She seems to be making everything she sees. It's up to the team to make sure she can see them. Keys of the game are brought to you by sponge you towels. Ask. Nothing absorbs like it. Kind of your typical opening Little end in a, in a must win game for both teams. But I think PI, uh, they put a pile of rocks in play with their front end and in most ends. Yeah, they're, they're putting almost uh, a point and a half more on the board per game on average than uh, Northern Ontario does. You know, we've been peeking over and watching them a little bit through the week. They, they'll, they'll take some risks with the hammer. They'll put up that corner. They'll ignore opposition stones, secure something around the corner. And then, you know, the opposition's chasing and they seem to get away with that. It works well. They seem to gamble without hammer too. Like they, they can be, uh, you know, I watched last night, they had a couple of rocks in there against them without hammer. They just kept going around center guard, kept going around center guard and applying pressure. As we say good afternoon to uh, Kathy Goche, we were talking about the added effort uh, that uh, Suzanne Burt has put in. It's nice that it's paid off for her. Well, it certainly has in doing all those things that Cheryl talked about. Suzanne said it is the situational position that has made the biggest difference. So in playing 10 events this year, there's not a lot of scenarios that they're not comfortable in making decisions. And that flows through. She says by knowing what the right call is, putting the broom down, she is throwing with a lot more confidence and getting better results. And even in two losses that they had hammer for and made sweeping mistakes or line calls mistakes they went back and said but we still played better we can win this if we just keep contending it is the old adage of you know you plan your race and then when you get here you race your plan you you have planned it they worked with Jason um, I think that was brilliant Manitoba champion now they worked with with Jason on strategy and I think you're seeing it Russ you're seeing a little bit more aggressive with the hammer and you're seeing it without no question and uh, you know we talked about that yesterday in our opening you have to apply yeah, pressure to a, somebody like a Holman or you're not going to get any breaks 
Nine, eight, I always looked at the tough teams, you know, sometimes you're going out and you're playing a team that you, you yeah. know you should beat. And I don't think you have to take risks. You're going to get some mistakes and those are your opportunities. But when you're playing a team, a tough team, you have to take some chances out there. It's the only way. Yeah, that brings up another point where Suzanne's played most of her career in Eastern, well, all of her career in Eastern Canada, but she's she's traveled a little bit this year for sure. And, and when she played down East, she didn't have to take those chances right. to win games. Right. Can really help herself. Prince Edward Island with a win to bring Northern Ontario back. There's all kinds of combinations right now with all the teams remaining. The remaining five are still alive for that final spot. Marie Christensen. Former Nova Scotia champion. She's the import yep, yep, yep. under this team out of Halifax. Yep. Yeah, I think when you come in prepared, Russ, I don't know how much you'd throw before an event, but I think when you come in prepared and you know you are, that you can then just trust your execution. You're not thinking about different things and keep your wrist up or anything like that. And that that just gives you another level of consistency. And I even looked at PEI, their numbers this week, seven out of nine games, all in the mid to high 80s. So that's consistent. They only had two games below that. Very good. Those are big numbers because, again, they do put a lot of rocks in place, so the shot selection gets to be a little harder. But further to what Kathy said, she's seen it now. She's playing enough to know that and those, yes, that's those situations she'll adapt to. Roll it if you can. Roll it, Tim. Okay. So we know three of the teams that are in as they jockey for the page playoffs. Manitoba against Team Wildcard, Jennifer Jones, both eight and one, trying to keep themselves alive. The loser there at six is done, BC and Team Canada. PEI, Northern Ontario, we're on sheet C, and again, there's Ontario. Uh, they know they're in. Those are the two key games at the moment. A win by Northern Ontario. A loss by Saskatchewan. They would go to five, and then we would have our four teams. So it could be decided, the four playoff teams could be decided by the end of this uh, draw. Krista McCarville didn't make that little roll in, and now it gives uh, Susanna a shot at a chance for a two here. They're gonna go right around it, even though it's almost in the rings. This is the other thing, Russ, I've noticed with Suzanne this year is she doesn't throw those uh, what do you call them? Copters down the sheet. Bird. Yeah, <laughs> whirly bird with so much rotation. And it's giving her chances on shots yes. like this. Yes. Bring it all the way get back. Get ready, get it's, ready. It's all the way back. It's back. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Don't go, don't go. Yep. Yep. Okay, go. Hard, 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 hard. hard. Okay. And all the way back it goes. Right. Back 12. Those whirly birds. Remember those? Oh, now I'm going to show your age, eh? When you had to put the little copter together out of the balsa wood, and then it had the elastic <laughs> yes, that you would. Uh, and yes. That was really? called the whirly bird, yeah. and it came yeah. in a little plastic sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Shockingly, I remember those too, but yeah. wow. I guess I saw pictures actually. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Packing out of it now. Saw, yeah. I just saw one. The Alberta <laughs> senior champ. <laughs> Ha. There you go. All right, buddy. Way to go. <laughs> oh. okay. That didn't take long. Uh, no, no. You can see about a half. That didn't finish as hard, Suzanne's draw there. I no. know she's a little bit heavy, but usually at the very end, you'll get a good amount of curl going to the wings. Jump here. Uh, they may have gotten caught now. Whoa, Gates and Sipola. Oh, they did well to hold it up. And can they get a little roll? No. 
Hang it on the nose and maybe thankful that they did get to the nose, but give credit to Cipolla and Gates because it seemed to jump. Yeah, it did. I love the weight. Great I mean, weight. there's risk in that. Yes, we watched it. It almost could have overcurled on them, but now it puts a little bit more pressure. This doesn't look as easy oh, for the blank. It's a tough blank. This uh, this inside out is straightening out from day one. It, that, that was a very uh, aggressive curl early from center line out uh, in the first two or three days. You could whiff this right by in a heartbeat. So took advantage, Please, looked for the yes. deuce, and now looking for Please, the blank. Please, if she can yes. spill it. Yes. 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 One more, and very nicely done. So both skips with some delicate shots to start on this Friday afternoon. It's the uh, final day of our championship pool play. Prince Edward Island, Northern Just Ontario, our featured game. Northern Ontario comes in at three losses, PEI at four, and PEI getting the blank in one. So once again, it's the team from the Montague Curling Club that does have last rock. They have the hammer playing the uh, red stone. the center guard and stayed half in the rings that allowed uh, Team Northern Ontario to hit it and stay short and neither one of those can be hit and a nice little situation early here for Northern Ontario. Megan Hughes, Marie Christensen, Michelle McQuaid, the thrower. Well, let's start our updates, Kathy. We talked about the three teams that are in. Include Manitoba and uh, Team Wildcard, Jennifer Jones. And this is, you know, you're thinking about where you're going to seed yourself in the page playoff. Big opportunity here for Jones in the first. Well, it sure is. Carrie tried to go around on her first and rubbed off. Jennifer made a wonderful hit and roll under to lie three. Carrie tried to go around again and rubbed off again. This is a hit for four. And we'll lose that at the back, but look at that. Four One, yellow. two, three, and four. What a start for Jones. Yeah, good in. That was probably like a 10. Control? Control. I believe uh, Jones has just done what Jones does. They scraped around in the first few games, looked like they... We're in serious trouble in a couple of games. Managed to pull them off, and uh, now they're looking at the one-two game. By win if they can win that one, they're looking pretty safe. That's the game within the game here, too, isn't it? You it want to is. be in the final four, but nice. only two of those top three teams are going to get into the one-two, and the one-two gives you that second life. I thought the way it was good, though. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit firm. Yeah. BC and uh, Team Canada blank, and Saskatchewan. Missed a uh, blank opportunity and forced to take a single. Not ten. Close. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. Hard. Whoa. 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 Close. 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 No. Close. No. Yep. Oh, wow. And right underneath. Little short run, albeit, but right underneath. Well, they got a really good read on Ashley's first one. It didn't curl at all. She was trying a short little run and stayed hide side on it. So. Got the broom down in the right spot and brought the weight down. Same weight. Wait. Same? No, no, no. Close. Hair soft. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Hair soft. Yep. yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very good. Good shot. Love the weight. Look at that. It was like hack, board at most. Great surface when you can do that in end number two. Yeah. Usually yeah. it's a little crispy out there and you, you've got to keep your weight up. Well, it's 
it's another one of those things where players and teams over time, as you're at an event, you start to adjust to the ice conditions and what they're giving you. Draws are moving tons. It's great weight. The, the draw weight stays consistent. The hits do run straighter, so all the teams keep moving their hit weight down. Lily. Great and right we'll right get them both. Very nice. Maybe right out. Yeah. Kendra is, uh, is a key to the game. We say it quite often. Uh, Krista McCarville will often put the team on her back. But boy, when Krista backs her up with some big numbers, they're a pretty tough team to beat. <laughs> no question. Yeah. I shot that like uh, back way eight, back in. Back eight. Back eight. Don't touch back that. That, to your point, Vic, the 100% game that Krista McCarville played, uh, Kendra was 94. The big win last night, Kendra 88. Yeah, you you can be as good as you want at the skip position. You still need three uh, three other helpers out there for sure at this level. We could go in turn. Okay, go here. Okay. Yeah, I like that here. I do too. Once in a while, uh, Kendra's intern will curl a little bit earlier than uh, maybe the other three players. Whoa. That would look like it got right out to the broom. Good. No. No. Clean. Sipple on the left. Gates on the right. Hey, here a little bit of a moose call around the arena. <laughs> Hard to miss. They so must feel right at home here in Moose Chaw. <laughs> Mac the moose oh, out, of the, out by the highway. <laughs> It all begins on February the 28th. The Tim Hortons Briar will be in Kingston, Ontario. And it'll start with the, uh, the, the wild card game on the Friday night to fill out the field. You can make an argument that every team in that field was the favorite going in in, the, in their provincial territory play. It's a good field. <laughs> oh, it's Throw. And of course, it's headed by the defending champion, Team Canada, and Kevin Cooey. But look at the familiar names: uh, Brendan Botcher, Jason Gunlickson, you mentioned out of uh, Manitoba, from Grattan to Gushu to Jacobs. Wow, all the way down. Brian Cochran, former Ontario uh, champion, is now throwing skip stones for PEI. Matt Dunstone the importance of Saskatchewan and there's the play in game that's the world card, wild card game Mike McEwen against Glenn Howard that's on the Friday night And there is uh, Mr. Dunstone, and we'll look forward to seeing him as he represents Saskatchewan. And he's here watching uh, his partner, Aaron Pincott, who is throwing the third stones for BC yeah. and the yeah, uh, team from so Kamloops. What a uh, provincial for Matt Dunstone and team. They got down in C in a triple knockout. And I think he told me they played the last five 10 in games in uh, like 45 hours or something it was just, just like in two days for sure and yes. one on the last yes. shot against the Myers boys and he told me later he said his legs were weak in that last game he just had trouble keeping his technique that's a lot of curling in a short period of time Oof. 
little softer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, geez, we don't need to be uh, certain with that. Sounds like it was self-inflicted, but her first one over curled in the first end. Keep an eye on that rock. So normal. See what it does with it. more weight. Two-time Canadian junior champion in 2001 and then two and then burst onto the scene in women's play in three and won the bronze medal first time out at the Scotties. PEI has never won a Canadian women's curling championship. Back to back blanks. Prince Edward Island and Northern Ontario. Well, we're still waiting for our first points in this all-important game, Prince Edward Island against Northern Ontario. As we go to the third, Prince Edward Island, once again, the team from the Montague Curling Club does have the last round playing the Redstones. After all those years in at the Charlottetown Curling Club, making the move to Montague, and uh, the ice maker there just was told by the the team that they've just bent over backwards to make her and give this team the kind of ice that they can practice on, which closely, closely replicates what they get here. Makes such a huge difference. I, I remember us going to the, the trials in the Olympics and we went to our home club and said, could you groove ice for us? It takes a lot of work, it can be done. And they did, they worked hard to pebble it and even dish it a bit just so we could get pretty aggressive curl and it, it made a big difference for us. So I can only imagine. We uh, did, you know, down east, we, we couldn't get that. We just couldn't get the, uh, the similar conditions and what an advantage, how, how many championship teams have come out of the Savile Center? Right, right, a lot, because they you know? get, it's like arena ice yes. there. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. I guess we could come to it, do you guys like that? I don't mind this, I think. I like Mike this. Here, nine and okay. Half. Hair high. I'm trying okay. to stick it here. Speaking of ice and rock, Cheryl, I'm, I'm on a hunch here, so bear with me. <laughs> but Krista McCarvel overcurled noticeably in her first end with her seven rock. In the second end, she almost flashed oh, no. narrow. So it overcurled no, huge never, twice. Never, never. Now it could I be human try. error. Hard, but Jenny, looking it go. up, it's really if hard. they're throwing an order, hard, you gotta go. really hard. that would be Almost. That would be the seven rock. If last night's game, Saskatchewan threw them in order, it would be the seven rock. And I touched on Silver Nagel halfway through the game. I said, I think she's got a cutter. At the end of the game, she confirmed it was a cutter. She curled 56%. It could be the same rock. Mm -hmm. And the answer is seven. Yeah. Seven. Yes. seven. <laughs> Laura Walker, Alberta, seventh. Team Alberta champion to come out of the Savile Center. Tight, tight. Is that right? Wow. Tight. That's because no one lied. I, <laughs> I, <don't like> <laughs> yeah, I, I just make it up. Now, are you, you're talking men. <laughs> no, junior, I, guess, I believe it's just the, uh, just the, the women. Right. right. And, look, and, and look at the men. Yeah, a little Marie. Yep, 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 yep. And I'm sure there's they're running out of room and they uh, to hang the banners. They need to move that rock that they just threw over slightly to the left and take away any <laughs> double chance. All right, let's continue with our updates. Uh, team wildcard Jennifer Jones picked up that nice. big four and now Manitoba has a chance here. Looks like an open draw for two. It is and a bit surprising how this came about. Carrie tried to hit and roll under her guard on the first one and wasn't able to do so. So it was a wide open hit for Jennifer, just made bare contact with it and moved it over, missing removing it from play. So that is why it is a draw to the paint for two. Okay, so I don't mind if you like drawing or... No, no, no. Like yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. 10, 10. Chris's, yeah. The angles aren't very good, are they? Mm, no. Whoa. Like their own back stone is causing back them grief mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Kendra, go. Hi, Kendra, 
control a long way to stay. Okay. She's just sliding wide. Okay. No, no, no. Going the same spot, Megan. What? Kathy BC and Team Canada, the defending champions, Chelsea Carey, they blank the uh, first. And British Columbia does have the last rock. The uh, team from Kamloops skipped by Corinne Brown. Well, Chelsea Carey is going to be very happy to give up only two this end, was facing four on Sarah's shots. Chelsea hit and rolled facing three. BC not able to get a third stone in. And then Chelsea rolled out in the last, so a draw for two. And when it was looking like four. Both those at five losses, six, and you're done. Okay, good. Nice shot. Now we I don't love that result. You want to throw a center guard when you're Prince of Island, you're sitting two, and you have Hammer. Was that the call, or was it just no, light? No, it was top 12. Okay. Just light. They pretty much were trying to put it back in the same spot they had it. Mm -hmm. But now... You come down, you play this out turn, little tap, you got a pocket. No kidding. Even open side. Spread them out a bit. Yeah. I think we're to it. Yep. A little late. Yes. Got to go. To it. Yes, you got to go. Really hard. Got to get it here. Hard. You got to get it here. Weight's good. Hard. Line's go good. Go hard. Down, go down, go down. Hard. 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 Sit hard. Keep going. And Gates. Hard, 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 go, hard. go, go, go! Oh, really nice. Brilliant. Good shot. Working overtime. Here we go, Kathy. And it's Saskatchewan missed, of course, the blank opportunity to pick up one. Ontario now with Last Rock as we play in the second. Well, trading advantages. Robin Silvernagel had the chance to hit and lie two on her first, but she rolled out, and Rachel made a nice little tap to lie three. And but Robin did make a good double on her final stone, and that is why it is a chance for two. We're going to be over here. I like that. Good. Yeah. Yeah, very good it is to take the lead two to one. She just throwing top eight, Russ? I think so. I thought she would try to unlock it. Yeah. Like if you can get down, tap that yellow a bit, get your back one kind of out of the way, then you might get a chance to play a run in there and score a big end. Yes, exactly. This, this seems to be the plan with uh, PI. They, they just go around everything and try to try to control that scoring zone, but that yellow's in a dangerous spot, to your point. I guess red's sitting too, but. I had 15 okay. The yellow raise is there if they want to. I think so. Yeah. Freeze, which is the call. I'm gonna get pretty uh, claustrophobic here. Basically the same shot, just a little bit more ice for Kendra Lily. Now it'll be a little bit of a guess on the weight because you're out a bit further. Hard. And again, it's up to Gates and Cipolla. Heads down, heads up, weights there. So now can you just put it right in that pocket? Right in that pocket. Right in that pocket like that. Boy, that's two beauties by Kendra Lilly. Is it ever. Yeah, you couldn't leave her that. Well, certainly not a second time down there. Even if uh, PEI played that shot themselves. Yes, yes. Yeah, no I'm kidding. How do you get that out there? Mm. Just tap it and stay on top. Can't roll away here. You gotta be careful. Michelle, Hi, Michelle. Definitely rolling a little ways. Michelle McQuaid. Good. Unlocks it at least. It is shot rock though that belongs to Northern Ontario. 
think if we can tuck a pe yeah, yeah there, here. there. Or here. Yeah. We could just go straight guard. I mean, she might have this to it. I think if we can come like right here, she yeah. doesn't have anything. If you're okay. light, that's fine, but yeah. I think. So tuck here is, yeah, yeah we just don't want to overcurl. Yeah. You gotta make sure. I think your line, it would be good with that weight. Yep. The, I like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. They talked about it. You'd certainly like to stop any type of run back. So anything short is, is productive. But they're going to try to get it in there. And they, I would think the reason is you might be able to tap that out later or PI okay. could do it for you. I think it's kind of the draw to the button. The only speed. risk yeah. with that, though, Russ, is if you ever so rub off that top 12-foot redstone. Ah, uh, true. Similar. You know, now yeah. you leave a run back. It could be a yeah. double. Or heavy. Mm. That's not good either. Yeah, I kind of like the guard. Mm -hmm. Top 12, top 8. Okay, go line. For Skip stones here in three. And right now, Northern top Ontario. Line, Sitting the one, line, looking line, to line, steal line, the first line, point line. of the game. Uh, eight okay, feet okay. light of where they wanted it. Rock number, we assume, okay. seven. Third time, Cheryl. Okay. Yeah. But it's also the first thought in Krista McCarvel's mind. It was. And yeah. it's, it's the tolerance mm -hmm. on that shot, too. So maybe in the back of yeah, her mind. Very true. Go sideways at the end. Yeah, going sideways at the end. I, I, I don't know, boy. Yeah, watch that rock. I, yeah. I'm with you, Russ. I don't know that that rock's yeah. matched to the rest of the set. That's for sure. Good shot, though. Look good. This is even there, huh? I think this is even there to get to the button. I don't know. Huh? That's finish a lot, but we're gonna find out. Just get a piece <laughs> of the button. Just sit in there and okay. set something up, maybe. Say one. They're one. Okay. We're two. We just can't lose ours. Okay. If you get ever. Bump it three or four inches, but it's so over buried by a ton. She might want to give that up then. Oh, that's, that's an amazing stat. Yeah. You want the hammer? No. <laughs> no you can have it. I'll, I'll just, just try and steal, steal against you. <laughs> And on it, you can hear them say already. Oh, well, that's just gone. Could be what happened to Krista's too, as opposed to the rock. So you're looking at, yeah. is it weight, path, yeah. combination? A little bit of both. It was light. Yeah. I think you want to get to T line on that. And it looked like it was just gone. No chance out of her hand. There's no harm in trying that wide one, is there? I don't think. That into there. Just a little bit more weight. Okay. You can try for it if we're light, that's okay. Yeah. Like light being top eight, light. Okay. Does she see something? As long as you're. Seems really wide. flat. That yellow to the right, Vic. Mm hmm. But I don't think it's, okay. I think it's pretty hard to do. That's for later. That's your last chance shot. Yeah. That would have to be. Flying to make that. I don't. I think we're just Whoa, top eight. I think it's lots. I think we're more just like top. Okay. It's, Where? Yeah, it's all there. It's really close. Back right now. Still. Okay, go right past it then. We gotta go past it. Or yeah, no, it's make a decision on this. I want to make her shot easier for not bad though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, curled. Or finish it. Oh, just gave her a slash double. Is Please there enough it. of the corner of the rock showing? I probably could have went on it. Eh? I know. Well, they haven't even looked. They're going over to this shot now. You can't see very much, Vic, of that one she just threw. Not enough. I think right. they slice it sideways into the button. Right. It would spin, too, so it would be very difficult to keep it ahead of that one that's top button. Is there any way she can hurt herself on this? I don't think no, so. No. It's going into that yeah, shot stone. Just, yeah. Okay. There's no harm in it. But okay. boy, do you ever have to throw this hard. You've got to hit what? 85%. You've got to hit right where the broom is. 85% of the rock, which will take away a lot of steam. And 
it won't come over. So you saw there, doesn't give up many steals. Now just a second in the last four games and three ends. Well, let's get you caught up in what's happening at the World Junior Championships there in Russia. Women's semifinal, Canada against those Russians. Fifth, 4-1, Russia. Mackenzie, Zacharias, oh goodness, what a shot. As the shooter hangs around, and Canada with the two score tied now 8-8 and an extra. And last rock facing one, Zacharias. And how's that? As Canada does go on to win it. Congratulations, ladies. The final, 9-8, and then Korea's a winner, Kathy. Well, they are, and that's really tough. The Russian team, that is the defending champion, so a huge win for Mackenzie and her team. And that Minji Kim, boy, she is tough. Won a world tour event. Their women's team is their junior team. They're in top, but they're in the final. All right, here we go. On to the uh, men's semi, and it is Jacques Gauthier in Canada against Germany in the second Gauthier facing one. The hit, the stick, the score, the two, and they'll jump out to the uh, lead. So to the eighth we go now, and Germany is leading 4-3. Canada sitting the one with Last Rock, and it's the uh, the brushing here, the teamwork. Balaka, Payette, Canada with the deuce, and they are up by one to the tenth. And it is a, a bit of a mess. How do you get in there if you're Germany? Five four, Canada leading. Canada will end up stealing a couple. So make the final seven four, Canada as they go on now to play the Swiss, who are winners over Scotland, Kat. Well, that game happened at 4 a.m. this morning, and I apologize to the neighbors at the hotel, because Kaitan <laughs> and I were screaming for much of it, and that's Switzerland. Well, that was an upset. Scotland finished the round robin at first. Canada had a good game against Switzerland in the round robin, but I expect a very tough game at 8 p.m. local tonight. So go best of luck to both the uh, Canadian teams in Russia. Got off to both of them losing their first, so it's a wonderful comeback to get adjusted to the, particularly the time change and all the travel, and we wish them well. So we welcome you back to uh, Moose Jaw. And Northern Ontario with that steal of one, we go to four. And Prince Edward Island will have Last Rock playing the Red Stars. Just kind of try to come around at like top four. Okay. Smidge more, right? Yeah. Just not working out for Prince Edward Island this end. They had a chance to chase around a corner guard. It was almost wide open, but then they bad. took their own corner guard off. Now left guys. Northern Ontario sitting a couple. Well, we're okay. Line, guys. Stay close. Pretty, yep. good. pretty good. Get line. Get to line. Hard line. Don't hard. want to. Yes. Hard. Hard line. Hard line. Hard line's perfect. Go, go, hard. go. Hard. Hard. Line. hard line's perfect. Go, go, go. go, 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 go. Keep, Keep going. going. Keep going. Yep. Oh, oh, nice play. Yeah, the danger in that shot's being deep. Four-two, wild card leading, and my mm -hmm. goodness, that's a very lonely red stone in there, and that will tell you everything you need to know about Manitoba at the moment and Kerry Aners. And it really was one of those ends where that one red stone was the only one. Jennifer opened up the front on her first, and Carrie tried to protect. This is a skinny tick for four. Well, Manitoba earlier in the event gave up a seven to New Brunswick. How's that? And will settle down. Gave up four in the first and four now. It's, uh, that's a bad habit to get into, <laughs> giving up the uh, the big ends. But there's two now given up by Manitoba. The same team that gave up a seven. Oh. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Okay. 
Saskatchewan and Ontario and uh, Ontario Rachel Holman has been playing exceptionally well and has three covered final stones Saskatchewan on its way from North Battleford Robin Silvernagel and lots of trouble as obviously as you saw for Robin the entire end tried to hit and roll on her first one stayed right there Rachel got the roll inside this is a soft very precise draw but it's against a bundle really a must win here Hey, it looks like it just rubbed a little bit and will not get there. So it's a steal of three. And for the third time in the event, they give up a steal of three. Saskatchewan in a real must win because uh, if you peek next door, they're looking at Northern Ontario. Northern Ontario, they need to lose. And Saskatchewan pick up the win. You've got to bring Northern Ontario back. Or Northern Ontario leading there that the Saskatchewan team yesterday was just dog tired by the end of it they were playing their fourth game in 24 hours they played on uh, Wednesday night forced to play a tiebreaker yesterday morning won it went in won their first game of the championship round and then last night were just uh, tripping over themselves so they're uh, in deep here down 5-1 now as they go to four. It's already, uh, you know, without having to play tiebreakers, it's already a grind and a long, long week for all these players. And now you go into playing back-to-back -back games. You try earlier in the week to conserve some energy. Yeah, you watch Robin's last shot when she ticked the guard. Could the pressures get it by if they hadn't played all those games? Yes. Team Canada has come back with a couple against BC. The uh, loser there is eliminated. Both of them coming in at five. So here again with these two draws to go we know that those three teams are in and uh, Northern Ontario uh, easiest thing to think of right at this moment Northern Ontario win Saskatchewan lose those are your four teams. Not a lot of opportunity, and even for PEI, they can't use their corner guard because if you play to go around that corner guard, you wouldn't be shot, and then see Northern Ontario just sit too. So, mm -hmm. forced to play this hit and roll. Megan! 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 Go! Go on a roll out. And they just make contact, and away it goes. Yeah, yeah it should be. Now, the force possibility. Yeah. Like here, maybe, eh? well, these have been yeah, getting uh, straighter. These come around uh, to the corners. Yeah. This is your thought is that sometimes we've talked about in the past because the pebbling tends to build up on the outside. Is it having a little difficulty getting up? Okay. Yeah, that's just it. Beck. It, uh, yeah. it does build up. Well, we talked about Kendra Lilly and her performance, and she's been getting better throughout the week. And if you can give your skipper this kind of support, it'll go a long way. Well, and this is her second shot, and you're going to need a long week, as you say. Shots like this, shots that change the control of the end. Her first one did. The second one secures their point, and that actually went on the scoreboard at the end of this end. She shot brought to you by OK Tire Service Repair and Tire. Final stone for Northern Ontario as we play here in four. Hard! Yes! Hard! Yes! Hard! Hard! It's going really, it's going sideways. Go, really go, 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 go! They're carving yep, yep, it over. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go! Nicely done. 
Am I wrong though, Russ? I mean, if we, we told everybody the, the stones have been yeah. sharpened, let's just say sharpened. So if it is running a little straighter towards the wings, the sharpening of the stone, the clipping of the pebble, it'll all help that stone yeah, get over. Yeah, and that's why they did it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good enough, eh? Yeah, sure. Yes. They're not going to take on the run back. Well, the risk with that, you go down two, play this draw tied up in an even end. And we saw earlier, she's not particularly happy with last rock, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> no she hasn't been working. Well, no, she's yeah. a, she loves the uh, steel game, so. But needs full 12. One red it is. So PEI replies. We're tied at one going to five. Michelle McQuaid throwing the lead stones for the PEI champions from Montague. As we welcome you back on this Friday afternoon, we go to the fifth in a one one tie for the first time in the game now that Northern Ontario team from Thunder Bay will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stone. Or a tick and try to. No. No? I don't know. That's really high. It's a. Well, I meant the, more the back one. Got yeah, they were talking about ticking that back one. You can't see any of it. I think so. Okay. No? Oh, well then, say something. Top eight. That's an easier play. That's the tough part for teams, I think, uh, especially with the five rock rule, is you know what the best result is, but what are the odds making it? Right, right. Degree of difficulty on the shot. Like, I'd love to hit the three wood 240 yards over that lake, but it might not be the right play. Well, and, and that's your job as a skip down at the other end, going, how do I, what shot do I call to let my player play their best, and what's the highest percentage shot? That would be it. I like the aggressive call in the mm -hmm. two double centers. Try and roll right away. You can even roll behind the, I mean, Bert wants to force this end. So even if you roll mm -hmm. behind the corner, it'll be yeah. high enough. Yeah, that'll be a good shot. Stay close. Yes, yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Good solid, solid board. Oh. Marie, full solid. Marie. Hard, 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 Marie. Their, their record really doesn't show at PI, but I'm so impressed with the improvement. They really are playing way better, all four players. And, and you said the uh, strategy with Jason and different things. And, and you look at it, they they overswept uh, a draw to the button in the extra end against Jennifer Jones by an inch before they win that game. They win that, yeah. They jammed one yesterday uh, against Saskatchewan. They had a double to win the game against Saskatchewan. Right. Suzanne made the double, but didn't jammed it, didn't get it out. Got it, yep. You know, they're inches very close to being right there. Ashley yeah. Sipola. No. Kendra. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Kendra. Drives it by, avoiding the uh, center guard. The one thing that uh, Coach Mitchell Shea was saying about this PEI team is that unlike a year ago and in you know, talking about strategy, when to have, when to go, when to be defensive. At times he said last year they were still playing a little reckless. Mm -hmm. You know, they gave up a 14 point game to New Brunswick. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he said, we just can't do that anymore. We just have to be smarter. 
and maybe play the games a little bit more close but at the same time don't kill your aggressiveness no and, you know it's waiting sometimes as a skip you're waiting a couple ends in until you see your team's comfortable you want to see that comfort level have you thrown a bunch of draws the first couple ends that will really dictate the kind of shot that you'll call it you know a lot of its instinct uh, scoreboard management you're looking at what end you see her throw two double guards this end and that's to force she wants to force northern ontario in an odd end and she loves that and it, you, you would think okay that steals only are a mistake by the other team but they go out with a steel mentality, a steel plan. Which can be scary. I mean, that I would watch because you start to steal, you're ignoring rocks when the opposition has hammer, but it's working for them. And I, I mean, I looked at PEI's stolen 11 ends for them this week. And so it's, it's obviously working. Rock placement's critical. Well, Ontario's coming off a steal of three in the third, and Ontario is sitting the one top of the button leading 5-1 Saskatchewan again with last rock this is the team from North Battleford and Robin Silvernagel and so tough she tried to play an angle raise on her first one not able to get it Rachel closed that side off this is a triple raise trying to move that stone on the four. Oh, oh and they okay. move too many and one leave yellow. the one at the top one great try great tries right I'm not sure it was there was I'm not close. sure it wasn't either Kat, did you notice uh, Rachel's previous shot on that end? She she hit the Saskatchewan yes. corner guard and rolled over to guard the draw path. That was a brilliant call and, and good shot. She, that was also the stone that Robin had tried to run in on her first. Okay. So she took both the run in and the draw away. Wow. Yeah, the other way. Yeah. Just like right here. Yeah, if you can double these two reds off, you're sitting frozen on top of a back T line red stone with a couple corner guards up. You're in pretty good position. That'll help yeah. your skipper. Yeah. <laughs> Hard. Hard. Well, this is close to. Oh. oh. Nice and leaves the shooter there. Oh Almost got them all. She is having a game. Mm. Remember what we said about earlier in the week, but uh, oh, their, their coach Rick Lang that. was saying as well. Uh, we'll finish this in a second. Let's uh, go over to she day. Kathy's to waiting eight two and uh, trying to get back into this is Manitoba and Carrie Anderson out of Gimli. Well, she has to come off of her own. Jennifer drew in to lie two. This is the third shot she's trying to utilize to roll yeah. into the forefoot. Yeah. Both these teams are already in the playoffs. Come on in and say hello and sit right there. Very nice. Nice to see you. There it is, one for Manitoba. What a shot for a single. But you know, Rick Lang was, and I said to him, look, when she came out of juniors, uh, Kendra Lilly, she's a four-time Northern Ontario junior champion. So we're now, we're talking five, six years ago. And look at that. If you're Christians and you're saying, I've got a, I got a heck of a game going, but Lilly's curling a 100%. <laughs> but we really, and he thought she was going to be the future of the game in Northern Ontario. Mm -hmm. But he actually admits he put the reins on her and may have, I don't want to say just stifled her development, but he's taken the reins off now. And he said, just you go and play. Right. Oh, it's a good, good idea. <laughs> and uh, she's feeling a little freer now in what she can do. She doesn't have to think about what the coach is thinking. Just go out and play the game. Yeah. Good for Rick to, to see that, to be aware of it. Well, and again, good technique, just like the skipper. And uh, I think she just needed some reps on uh, this type of surface to get comfortable. Well, and more reps for you too, Kathy. Let's go here in a 2-2 tie in British Columbia does have the last rock. And that is the team from Kamloops and Corinne Brown. Well, she was facing four on her first one. Corinne went around and was shot. Chelsea tried to come on top, rubbed off. And so this is a draw for two. 
Same path she went in, needs four foot. Whoa, whoa. No. Curl an inch. Yeah, curl an inch, and that inch is enough, and they will One pick up sure. the. Yeah. I'll move these. Well, they are going to measure. Okay. I thought it was a deuce for sure. Okay. All right, we'll measure. Struggling. Clean early. Let it work. Let it work. Yeah, it's good. Megan. Yeah. Megan. Knees finish. Knees finish. All you got. Keep going. Knees more. Go, go, go. That's good. Whoa, whoa. Nice shot. All right, so let's see. Huh? Oh, look at me. Right again. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, boy. Somebody has to stop that. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 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 Out of control. So we have to live with it. Suzanne like tried. You see that guard on the left. She was trying to get that to curl yeah. so that this run wasn't there. So just tuck behind that yellow one that you see crystal lining up. If anything, up. make sure it goes out yeah. so we don't. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's interesting okay. that looking at the double yep. peel as opposed yep. to the run. Really? Yeah. Well, they, like they lined it up. Maybe that. Maybe they, that's uh, Plan B. Soon find out. Red's shot too on top. Yeah. Yep. No, you're right. Yeah, I, I like your okay, call. Eight and a half. Right. Peel, right? Yeah, yeah. try to roll ours in. Nope, they're nice. calling double peel. Yeah, yeah, yeah shooters, interesting. Eh? Should be gone if we make it. Okay. All right. Eight and a half. Now the one thing that can happen, you can spring your yellow into the rings. Yeah, I hit this uh, half rock, split it in, and then you've got them in big trouble. Yeah, that, that's Eight a good and call. Half. Yep, yep. Whoa, yes! Yes! Hard! Hard! Well, you back that up Whoa! with a third Whoa! that's throwing yeah, yeah. a perfect game. Sit. Like this. It all looks pretty uh, good. Nice. Great shot. That's so good. Um, so this hit this. I think it was like. It was over there, that. yes. Okay. okay. Might not be a problem with that or seven rock. No. Just a brilliant call. Your danger, you've opened up the front for yourself. You're sitting frozen on top of red, and now you're sitting third shot. It's a yellow double. Might even get lucky and save your back one somewhere. I don't mind it. That's the only shot that doesn't give them a chance for two or more. Peel? Half rock? Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. Not too dangerous. Anything on the center line side, no. your high side, you're good. What? You get weird out of one, you're going to be very close to making a double. Then you have uh, actually force, which would be ideal. Half rock. Just a half a rock with peel. Okay, okay. double. Suzanne Burke. Oh, no. Gotta go hard, Michelle. Hard, Michelle! Okay. okay. And now in danger of giving up a couple. Maybe threw it a little too hard. Yeah, just ran that line. Yeah, we probably needed a hair less ice. She threw a ton. And again, I mean, this is a. What's that? Just ran right there. Yeah. And when you see it. If you're here for the first time, and she has it, and she knows. Yes. These, these stones are so lively. The striking bands are so good. You can get a lot done with some less weight. You can. You see, we watched earlier. It was the second end or the first end. They were making doubles with board weight. And you start to really understand that. I, that was a lot of weight, for, even for that shot. Yeah, that 100% uh, became the fourth. Fourth stone no, thrower Ashley. in Scotty's history to curl that uh, perfect oh game. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. Okay. 
and we'll hang it on there. And that's for two. So Northern Ontario will go to the break up 3-1. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Oh, it's just so nice, it really is. It's uh, sunny, it's plus four, We're talking about five, five or six tomorrow here in Moose Jaw, so it's great to get your children outside into the playground. Started slowly. Two blanks, Northern Ontario with the steal, and now a pickup of two, and they lead it three to one. The steal, and really a struggling Suzanne Bird at the moment. She is the uh, low player on the ice at just 64%, mid 50s on her hits. But then that back end for the uh, team from Thunder Bay, brilliant. Kendra Lilly, 100%. Krista McCarvel, 93. And they lead it 3 to 1. Prince Edward Island trying to bring Northern Ontario back to the field. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how by Scotties, Canada's number one tissue and by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. We always have a good time. <laughs> They're always a fun experience. <laughs> we go in trying not to have too many do-overs. Power poses were a lot of fun. We enjoyed the purple haze. Nothing too crazy, so. I hope, I don't know, maybe they caught something, I'm not sure. Nadine uh, was the first one to go. Well, she was really excited and then tripped. Usually Ashley has some trouble, but she did really good this year. She's getting a lot better. I crushed my takes the whole time, just saying. Seeing Erin be serious was pretty funny because I didn't think she could do it. So we put on some Southwesters. We grabbed our brooms as oars and pretended like we were rowing. You know, I was the captain with the little Nova Scotia flag and telling them to row. Allison. She does a great cartwheel, too. We did the piggybacks. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't break Brianne's back. <laughs> oh, I think we all did really good. That all takes place prior to the uh, start of play. You know, the all the players, the power poses, having a little fun, and we do appreciate taking some time. As we welcome you back, we're getting to the end, of course. 16 teams have started play with the wild card game last Friday night. As uh, Jennifer Jones played her way into the field with a win over Tracy Fleury to fill out the field of uh, 16 and two pools of eight. And then we played the Round robin within the pool through Wednesday, the top four out of each pool advancing to become the great eight. And now we're narrowing it down to the final four that will play the page playoff starting tomorrow. Northern Ontario leads it three to one. And we go to the sixth. Prince Edward Island and the team from Montague will have Last Rock playing the Redstone. It's really about making your opposition shots tough. You look at the the two points that were put on the board. The third end, Kendra Lilly makes that perfect freeze. That's the point that scored. Uh, Suzanne tries that in off, missed it. Tough shot, yeah. kind of flat. And then in this last end, Krista made that kind of out turn. She rolled the promoted stone onto the rings, forces Bird again to a double, a tough one, and she misses yes. that. Yes, yeah. Makes some tougher shots. Full eight, full eight, full eight for sure. Yeah, that was a great angle raised by the skipper. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Hey, look at us. That's, That's what we never do. Yeah. Well, it doesn't get any easier here for Saskatchewan, does it? They're already down six to one, and they're uh, facing a couple. 
And just small things not working today. There were two Yellowstones, maybe a foot apart. Stephanie Lawton trying to make the double, went through the middle of both getting none. And so that's generated this force for Saskatchewan. Needs the full eight foot for single. And Saskatchewan uh, having to make a lineup change too with Jesse Hunkin out and now Stephanie Schmidt coming in. And there just comes up a little light steal of one more. So 7-1 and it doesn't look good for Saskatchewan at the moment remembering a Saskatchewan loss and a Northern Ontario win. And we will have our four playoff teams. Northern Ontario would gain nice right that yeah. fourth slot. So over we go to Team Wildcard against uh, Manitoba. And for the first time that I can remember, Manitoba nice. putting a little pressure on Jennifer Jones. Well, they are, but nothing like she's put on them, that's for sure. She is facing two, but the shot stone is wide open. Trying to get to the nose for the single. Hard done. Hard done. Keep going. Hard done. You're good. Nice good. And that is good enough for one more. It wasn't four this time. <laughs> yeah, that's nice funny. Somebody said that that wasn't four this time. So <laughs> feeling like they've won the game or won some part of it anyway, not giving up the big end, but it is all yeah. wild card and Jones leading 9 3 at the break. Yeah. That's a huge game, isn't it? It's uh, only those three teams tied at eight and one. Only two of them could get to that uh, page one two game. And the third place team in that situation would have to win three sudden death games to win the Scotties, which is tough. Playing the tap, I thought they might take a chance. There's a nice pocket at the back. You freeze down there. Yes, they could follow you down, but they have to be perfect. It's going to roll, all right. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Hard, hard roll, hard roll, go, go, go. Okay. Hey, and BC takes a 4-2 lead over uh, Team Canada to the break after a blank in five. They're going to take your advice and try to get rid of that pocket, hit the red on the uh, center line side and kill one of the uh, back yellows. I was a bit surprised at Northern Ontario when they played the hit and roll from the corner that they weren't more aggressive in trying to roll right out. They seemed kind of caught off guard and then went, oh. Hard, 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 hard. Yep, yep, oh, that yep, works. Yep. Oh, that helps a lot. No pocket now. Would you have not freeze down there? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, you're two down. Yeah, and you got hammered. and it, it, it wasn't dangerous. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you don't really have a good opportunity to apply pressure. Go around the corner, I guess. Just try to get to the inside of it a hair. You'd be four shot, though. That. Mm -hmm. you're right, it's getting pretty late. Yeah. I'm thinking freeze with that ice. Here, maybe a maybe little tap. bit of a tap. Yeah. You could kind of set up another little pocket if you get just slightly to the inside. No, I, I know the rule. You don't want to go back and behind the T line, but at the same time, you're not generating anything. Now, if she lays that right on the face, Yes, they could come down and freeze to it, but if you're PEI, you've got to do something. You've got to make something happen. Yeah, I mean, it's their only chance. They don't have very good. They've got one corner guard, but as we said, if they go around it, they're four shot. Well, to your point, uh, they tried to freeze there when they didn't have a pocket. Right. Why not one shot earlier yeah. when they did? Yeah, timing. Another great delivery. Very solid. That rock comes right at you, doesn't it? It's just clean. Ash, hard. Really hard. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 go,
Yeah, leaves it hanging around, but uh, it is the third shot, it appears. Uh, and look where that yellow on the left went. It's behind the corner yeah. guard. Well, get ready for the hilarious new sci-fi series from HBO and the creator of Veep. Hugh Laurie stars in Avenue 5, now streaming only on Crave. Subscribe now at Crave.ca. That changes things, doesn't it? Oh, in a hurry. Now you can be second shot behind a corner with backing. <laughs> Those are all really good things for PEI. Yep. Now I'll be curious to see how the uh, the scores and what number they give to uh, to Kendra Lilly for that shot. She made contact, didn't push it out. Do you give her still perfect marks? No, 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 no chance. No, maybe one out of five or one out of four, I should well, say. There you go. You're right. She just dropped to a 91 percent. Heavy, but it is curling. If they can just carve it far yep, enough to go, get Jen. the click off the red okay. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. oh, Look at that, huh? Hmm. Not 91 anymore either. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going it's away quickly. Like well, it does when you're at 100. It doesn't <laughs> it take much. <laughs> You were at 100 once, weren't you? Oh, right, yeah. right. For an yeah, end. 50 in math, 50 in French. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here, Their mother's so proud. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Mom's sitting there in Midland yeah. watching and going, yeah. oh, jeez. <laughs> That's <laughs> not my boy. That's wrong with him. <laughs> Where shall we start? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's important not to roll out. This is unreal, ain't it? Sitting three, the doubles there. Did you shoot like a, like a ten? Yeah. And uh, where does it come from? It comes from the first nice shot ten. by Christensen, of course. Then that there, Kendra but Lilly missing the squeeze off, out. So. Yeah. Then yeah, like she misses the next one, and look what happens. I, when you said, where does it come from? I'm like, his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went <laughs> he there says too. it all oh. himself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Uh, but it's, uh, they're in control here. Northern Ontario uh, no. looked like they were going to, this was all about a force. And now it looks like they may the give up up? two or three. Try the double in the roll, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it started early. They, As I said, they played that corner hit and roll, but they weren't really no. urgent about getting it out of the back of the rings. And yes, that that's was, right. Yeah, and then that's yeah. a rock that Kendra, a couple rocks mm -hmm. that Kendra was trying to get rid of. It's a good idea to soften the weight here, because if you make the double, that angle allows you to roll over if you don't throw too hard. Hard! and Gates trying to hold the line here. Angle this back, and then roll the stone, touch it on the way by, and they'll get both. Just perfect. So the skipper bails them out. Really good. And, and did it with the appropriate weight to stay for shot, not only making the double, which was tough. But most people would just throw a rocket down there, make the double roll away. Then you're still in trouble. Really good shot. Well, at least you're forcing the opposition to make something. It's tough, though, because you want to jam it. Yeah. I can't. A little roll. Even on the nose is fine. Yeah. Okay. Just control we. Shows great consistency. Just control. Problem here. Oh, nice. Two game losing streak and in danger of making making it a third could eliminate them. Oh boy, it's a little extra weight here. And then away it goes. Mm, just an opportunity you can't. 
big. Miss, you need that one. Yeah, you're sitting in the hack and you're thinking, I can't over curl this and jam it, so what do you do? Just a pound extra weight. That's been the shot that's been it's missed all week. Wait. Fast, eh? Yes, I see. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's nice. Kind of like this one going that way, like that. To the wing? Yeah. yeah. A little like quicker. Yeah. Really close. Got this. Close. Tea line. Okay, go a bit T. Line's great. Line's good. Hard line. Hard line. No bounce with this line. Line's great. No bounce. Little bounce. Line's great. Little bounce. Yep. Yep. Ah. Here they go. Cipolla oh. and Gates. Yep. Yep. You Big go. force oh. here. If they can glue oh. this oh. on the corner for Shot Rock. Nice Held it up. Shot. Oh, wonderful. Very, very nice. Krista McCarvel. Really good. You know, the brushers, they, they saved that one, too, because they were a little worried mm. about line. They got on it early. Thank Great you. Shot. Great, shot. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. That's pretty quick there. I know. Yeah. Like, you know, he was asking Rick Lang about the the amount of work that she puts in. So, mom of two, grade five teacher. Yeah. In the gym in the morning before going to school, throws after school prior to going home for dinner. Plays in the men's league in Thunder Bay, and then they have weekend training sessions mm -hmm. all around. Incredible family and life. That's impressive. Yeah, back four. Line good. You need that back. kind of obsession, though. I think you get, you know, if you want to be at this level, mm -hmm. play at this level, and have a chance to succeed at this level. And, you know, the other thing too is what's often overlooked. Final Still stone here, drawing for the one is the the families, they have to be accepting of it as well, right? They have to be all in, in their own way. Nice draw for the single to get within one. But Northern Ontario, what a wonderful draw that was. Krista McCarville, she leads it. Northern Ontario leads it by one as we welcome you back to uh, Moose Jaw. On this Friday afternoon, championship pool. It's sorted itself out very quickly. The, by last night, we already knew three teams that had qualified. Manitoba, Ontario, and Team Wildcard, Jennifer Jones. So the rest, still alive at the moment, and playing for the uh, one spot. And one of those teams alive for the moment. But boy, they need a big comeback here as Saskatchewan down by six. Well, they have the opportunity for two here, Vic. Rachel made a run back on her first, and Robin yep, Corner yep, froze yep, onto the yep, shot yep, stone, yep. and in the process of removing it, Rachel also Ryan lost her Ryan shooter, Ryan hit for two. Oh, 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 oh. Hard to catch Ryan it. Hard. Look out. Go, go, go. Bang. Watch the sneaky deuce. Okay. Uh, I don't think you got your sneaky deuce. Well, almost. One is for sure that one, and then now you look around the back. It looks like it's only one from this this view. First thought yellow, but yeah, it's got to be yellow, I think. I think Boy, that just took we off. And Robin. We'll They're gonna call for a measure, and then we'll update it. That's uh. Disappointing for Saskatchewan and the team from the Twin Rivers in North Battleford came in with great expectation, particularly with them playing at home in their home province. Unlocks the, uh, the centers. A second straight blank, they go to seven. BC continues to lead there. Those teams are alive at the moment, but uh, it's this game. Northern Ontario wins. And they eliminate those two teams, BC and uh, 
Team Canada. They really need the rest of the field needs Northern Ontario to come back. So PEI can help everyone help themselves and help the rest if they can come back and beat the team from Thunder Bay. Northern Ontario is not cooperating. No. And uh, our eyes were right. It is just a single for Saskatchewan. So 7 2, Ontario leads it. Whoa. Steal of three Whoa. in that game that was uh, huge yep. for Ontario. Yep. And they added to yep. the steal in, yep. Yep. in five. So four yep. stolen points okay, in that good. game for Ontario. You saw Krista trying to get rid of her corner, which you'd think would hammer you. She wouldn't, but it's the opportunity for uh, Prince Edward Island to either force or even steal. That back one's in, too. That was the original tick shot made by uh, Northern Ontario, and it went, the red one was sliding to the back. Krista didn't want to sweep it because she can't sweep it right out. And uh, Suzanne was brushing it to get it out, and it ended up right there nibbling. So you're playing the last of the second stones and you can hear them debating among themselves what when do we go it's our corner if you remove this it's our corner then northern yeah. Ontario do we go speaking as a North, you know, as a northern Ontario team when do you make that move behind the corner well and I like them waiting one more the, the opportunity is you get around there and you set up for your deuce but slide a little bit deep and it's early enough in the end and PEI caps it or freezes on it and then your chance for a deuce goes away. I think Krista's keeping her eye on a potential blank if she can, although it's not looking good with that back red, mm. but she doesn't want to get into it too early and then you get nothing. She never does, does she? You no. mentioned that in the, in the commercial break. Uh, they, they, when they get a chance to bail, they bail. They open up that front all the time. And it, it works. You know, that stuff you say in the commercial break that's really good? You, you should, should yeah, save that's it. Right. Save it because <laughs> nobody hears it during the commercial break. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> It'd be a lot better. <laughs> Just, hey, I've got something good to say. <laughs> you two hear it. <laughs> that's all. I'm. Yep, Megan. I thought that roll that just uh, Northern Ontario just got, Russ, towards the corner yep. for PEI, if they had a notion about going behind their own, that, that little roll takes that away. Yes, yes, it, it chokes it off. I know. Now maybe now. At some oh. point, mm. I, I kind of like this way. I feel like we got to go around the red, no? Yeah. I like the round the red if we're going around Probably. that. Interesting. Okay. You go with that? Yeah. Okay, so. Certainly not wrong, but it's a little more dangerous with a red guard that's pretty close to the center line. Well, so Cheryl, I'm thinking again here out loud. You had your, you if had you were Northern you Ontario and you decide to go behind your own, where are they, where's PEI going to go if they ignore it? They're going to go behind their own. They too. will. So, so get there first. And this will, if you want, if you go behind your yellow, uh, PEI can come around their own and be shot. Mm -hmm. I thought they might play the other turn here and they could actually split their yellow on here. You'll see it come into view, the yellow. You could split that pretty easy. Or oh. tap it buried. Hard. This is hard. really going to curl. Hard, hard, hard. 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 We got to go. Got to go. Go, go. We got to bury Pete. Hard, 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 hard. Okay. Okay. That might 
that piece of ice might get them to think a little bit. Eh? And they didn't curl very much at all. No, she, she looked a little bit full when she came out. and But they got enough of it tucked that I... I'm, a roll underneath would be pretty tough. Yeah, you could Risky. Uh, hit that back one too, right? Yeah. Sorry. It must have been wide. Yeah, getting to the nose would be really yeah. tricky. hang in there. That was funny because they, they were trying to make that curl, which caused it to jam. It's like they forgot that rock was back there. I think so. I have all of it. Manitoba and, and wild card still putting on pressure, sitting the one. Carrie Anderson was final stone for the Manitoba skip out of uh, Gimli. Playing Team Wildcard and Jennifer Jones from the St. Vital. It's a rematch of the Manitoba yes, final, good, which uh, she won. Yeah, and good. that will be for a couple. Two. So closing the gap. Yeah. Oh, this could be good if they get this roll. Well, almost. Oh, now a chance for PEI to get out of the end. You can make the double end roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you could just, sounds, I think they're just going to make the roll to the uh, underneath the red. Yes. It's there this time. There's a little more air, isn't there? You get at that for sure. this roll going to go and it will settle down very nicely in behind cover all right Kathy I understand you're you're back a uh, four two <laughs> I was yelling at you <laughs> <laughs> four two after a couple of blanks and it looks like that uh, team uh, British Columbia is sitting one and two at the back she is Corinne Brown made a double on her final stone to lie to but in the process of doing that set a double back up here for Chelsea Carey nose hit for two Wow, and it's been that kind of uh, wow. event and a one steal nine. of one more for BC. So the winner there or the loser there is eliminated, but we still close. need close. lots of help if you're going to be at five no, losses. A Northern Ontario win it's here basically eliminates those it's two back. teams it's back. Yep. regardless of a win or a loss. Five and six will be eliminated. Oh. Yeah, go right back, go right back. Go, 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 go. Tried the audible for the tip. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Okay. okay. Kendra and Krista got caught in that same spot. It wow, just almost. almost hit the corner, which really shouldn't yes, be in play. Sir. Tick might not have been, oh, might have been. Hanging yeah. so much. Go for it. That was the right call for uh, Northern Terra, but I thought Krista, with the skill set that she has, she might have tried that. Sat three around a with the long guard to maybe score a big end. The come around was definitely the easier of the two shots. It was the right play, but now that it's deep, we might get forced to a single or a steal. I, she's she's like not trying to freeze. No, she has the same ice as me, though. Yeah. Oh, I, I 
I don't know. I didn't hear the call with PEI, but I hope they're freezing right down to yeah. that back one. I think they're going top four. That's what I heard. Soft. Yeah. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Like, I think you can get at it with either turn. Oh, we gotta go uh, I would think. Very nice to drag it as far as they did. Mm, really good spot. It had to be that perfect if yes. they weren't playing the freeze, and it is. Wonderful, Megan Hughes. Michelle McQuay closest to the stone. And Wow. Critical, they got it there. Great brushing. Needs a little thirst aid. Back line. Okay. okay. Not much difference here between uh, making this soft tap and going right by it and tapping out your own, and then it's a steal of two. Yeah, this Northern Ontario team, you look at that converted with Hammer, three of the last 27, that's low. That's I mean, terrible. I looked at their numbers, they were 20% coming in when they had Hammer. And again, converting means getting more than two or more. Two. Two. So Whoa. you're almost, Whoa. the thought being Whoa. that when you have last rock, you Whoa. should get one. Yes, yes, yes. And if you convert, you get more than one. I don't want to miss this red one. Get it over there, help it over there, push it now. And push it far enough, can't sit. But there again, that uh, lack of a conversion rate. You wanted a deuce. That's why you have the hammer. Now it's back to PEI, down by a couple. Well, it's been a, uh, a disappointing game uh, for Saskatchewan, Kathy can't deny that and it'll be a disappointing week for this team that came in with so much hope uh, playing at home. Uh, here's Rachel Holman, Ontario and uh, forcing again here. Well and Rachel Holman's team and Rachel herself playing so well. Robin did bury a stone on the lid on her first one but a big weight run back by Rachel Holman made it go away and then on her draw did you do that again just short with Silver Nagel. This is a draw for two. And there it is, two more. So to extend their lead, as Ontario now leads at nine to two, trying to go to nine and one. They're looking over at Team Wildcard and Jennifer Jones, who's in control there, looking to go nine and one. Four to two as we welcome you back. We go to the eighth in Prince Edward Island with Last Rock playing the uh, Redstone. Just further to that, that Saskatchewan, if they should lose, then we, you have to look at the game we're doing. Northern Ontario has to lose the game to keep people and teams like Saskatchewan alive, and even a five loss team alive going into the night's final draw. Line's great, Dave. Line's Lose. great, line's great. Real, real still. No bells no, on this great. line. Let it curl a little. Just a little. Yep, go. Go. Yep, no go, bouncing, go, go, no go, 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 go. Hard, hard, hard. It's got to be. Come on, really good. Nice angle. Managed to sneak in closer than the red one. Can get to the inside? Very hard to get to the inside around that corner guard. Right, it might be there. Mm. Not easy. No. And they're not going hard. No, Pearl. not at all. That, that's definitely calmed down over the week. Like nose. Okay, I like this. You got it, Megan? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Megan Hughes, 
Seconds Jones here in the eighth. Stuffs it right underneath. Or guard it. The doubles there if your guard wasn't in the way for mm -hmm. Bert. If they'd have rolled off slightly, then McCarville would have had to do something with that center line yellow. Or we can cap it. No, I don't mind this. Now do you go offense or defense? You're two up. You don't have hammer. You could peel the two guards. You could. Raise the yellow onto the reds at three. You can draw around. This is what they're going to do. You could guard, but you're not guarding a rock that's too dangerous. So I think they're going right in. Yeah, it looked like top four. Ashley Sipola. Just looks just perfect. Yeah, go, go a little bit, go, Jen. Go, 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 hard, go, go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, go, 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 They've been very good this game, Northern Ontario, for, you know, what is the tolerance? You can't mm -hmm. be back for there. Give it to your brushers. Throw it to top 12 and let them handle it from there. All four players at the moment for Northern Ontario in the uh, the eighties. Kendra Lilly, who was off to uh, yeah. a perfect start, has now fallen back to eighty percent, and she happens to be the lowest on the team. There might be a raised triple here. There's a bit of an angle there. You've got this just perfect. change because there's two yes. opponent rocks in there. You gotta be a little careful. Yes. So this this makes some sense to angle this yellow onto the red. And you can't chase chase that uh, eight foot center line red. That's how so important that freeze was that yellow one yeah. at the uh, 10 o'clock position. You can raise it. The other team can't do anything about it. And the angle's so good. Kendra Lilly, if she makes this roll Barry. Yes. Of not scoring. Like, you don't have to play much weight at no, it. I agree. Can you do that? How much weight, Suzanne? With just like. Four? I don't think he can throw very much. No. I have just over half. It's a nice call if you hit it really thick, thick and jam it on the yellow. Throw it nice and soft and stay somewhere. Maybe yes. behind the corner would Here, be the be perfect shot. Yeah. I'm thinking like, or do you like half? I just don't want to split it out. Like I think we play like, she said half? She said board. Well, Team Manitoba, we talked about their seven given up to uh, New Brunswick. They gave up a four. Two fours in this game yes. and in danger of giving up another big end. Well, they are. And, you know, Carrie's taking some risk, but she tried to freeze on her final stone on top of the wild card stone. And you saw that it was right beside it. So an open hit for Jennifer for three. Wow. Two for sure. I don't know about the other one. Yeah, it is. I think they're. We can tell you it's three. Ten four. Oh, this is gone. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe they can roll the shooter in. Okay. Okay. It's 
not the worst. I, I didn't like that center guard there. I was no. even looked to see if there was like a slash you could run it across your red, but the angles weren't very yeah. good. Yeah. They almost got the both in. Yeah, that would have been pretty nice for Burt and put a little bit more pressure on Northern Ontario with all those rocks in the rings. Now there's a double. Thick double with Pia Waite. Trying for to keep themselves alive here, Team Canada, and that's the defending champions, Chelsea Carey from the Glencoe Club in Calgary, down by three, Kathy. Well, and she faces four, try to run on her first, wound up ticking off a couple of guards, leaving BC lying four. Corinne Brown's final stone just over curled a bit. She's got access. No, oh, and boy. where will this stop? If it stops and it will sail. So one, two, three, it looks like four. four. And that will be it. And so the defending champions are eliminated. And with it, the game goes to them. British Columbia wins it nine to five is your final. And so the last team to uh, defend was Rachel Holman back in 14. And so uh, she won back to back in 13 and 14. So that's the last time. Difficult. Just that the, pre the preparation just isn't the same. I know. Oh, mm -hmm. it's hard when you don't play through that provincials and get that momentum and you're trying to find events to play in. And it speaks to I the mean, depth of the field, too. I think that Chelsea time. Carey with six losses, you know. Or this? We're three. Yeah, yeah. we kind of thought if we, we could ever tuck a down piece. Down to see yeah, what I you feel were like thinking. I don't want to hit. I don't think. Okay. No, I don't no. think so. Do you, do you like a little tap or even right to it? I, I prefer being higher. Just, yeah. Because then she's going to get right here in there. to two it yeah. as long as we're yeah. I would yeah. prefer to be a little. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's try to tuck a piece. Tuck a hair. Yeah. Okay. So weight should be similar here. Not quite as fast yeah. as the wing, but no, like similar to like here. It's yeah. just been nice. I think it's, it's nice. kind of the it's same. Kind of the same yeah. Right? Well, yeah. So further to my point, how difficult it is. You know, Rachel wins home and wins it in 13. Defends the steam candidate in 14. Nobody since. And then you go back, and uh, Jones did it twice. Of course, that was three consecutive years. It's difficult to do. So our final games will come your way tonight when we join you. These are the games on the ice, and depending on some of the results, we're not quite sure what it'll all mean, but Northern Ontario, we know if they win, that will eliminate a lot of the teams. Ontario against Manitoba, and of course, PEI split personality there with, with Miss Burt. Try to play two games at once. But uh, <laughs> Manitoba against Ontario could be a very big game for uh, Manitoba. We know that Ontario, if they, with uh, their result, are already guaranteed a spot in the 1 2 game. If you throw peel, it's probably like here. This that looks is going to be tough for Suzanne to yeah. score here if she doesn't make a couple go away. And even then. So normal. Can you <laughs> hit enough of this thing to save your throw, yeah. the rock you're throwing here? I don't feel like you can. 
And there's a big difference in the what Kristen McCarvel brought to the ice today as compared to uh, Suzanne Burke. The player numbers brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. If you don't get, you don't jiggle a two in the forefoot, I'm not sure she's going to be able to score. I guess she was trying to hit as much of the top one and, and carry him off to the left one. It almost wasn't even makeable. Yeah. No. Okay. Yep. Now you block this draw and. Very similar weight too. She's playing an in off something. Which is really scary. I don't know what draw she'll have. No, no, if you get it in the right spot. Okay, so full eight is perfect. Doesn't okay. even have to be full eight, though. Right. So I'm talking right there, that. even a, even a little bit higher. Okay. okay. And like, as you say, that that, that drop pass virtually not there. You might be able to sneak in this okay. way. Yeah. Got this. Should put the last rock on the X with the out turn. I'm gonna say no. Top four. Oh, then. Wow. You can did it last year and uh, has a good chance, an opportunity to do it again this year. Eliminate Prince Edward Island. These two teams not met on the tour. And how do you get in there now? Oh, you might be able to, yeah, just a thin double and wiggle in. Take your shooter. This, you think? Yeah, the really is if, it, if it sticks, it might not be closer than the back one. Wonder if you play it the other way, Russ. You play. I know it's risky, but you play the double on the right hand too, yep. and try and come in off the left hand yellow. Do you have this hand all at all? Yeah, they they were thinking this and feather double and hit it, hit it that way. But I think you might be easier, Cheryl. That way, you go underneath here, and yeah. that kicks your red one down a little bit, yeah. and, you, and you roll into this area. Yeah, like just come off the back of that. Yeah, I don't think that the other goes. one's there. I'm not sure. No, I don't, I don't either. So. Oh. This looks like easiest from up above, anyway. But I guess that's there too. Yeah. How much out of that? Oh. So what do you have we just need to roll a Christus little. came down hard, Russ. I thought it was they were calling. Mm -hmm. Somebody said T line once and then top four. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's perfect. Her rock positioning this week's just been outstanding. Like the heavy draw and tick off either one of those uh, corner frozen ones. Take a look at it, yeah, A whip, a yeah. tick. Just need to roll a couple feet. Okay, what kind of weight? What's the weight? Just bored. Hey. Oh, I think she's playing. Oh, uh, yeah, the outside left one. Oh, boy, I don't think you can throw board weight and make it, can you? Maybe. The uh, oh, earlier oh, steal oh, of a single in the third. Oh, in danger here of giving up some more. Game early on the line here for PEI. Now you got to sit down, though. Where's it going to go? Oh, and how far? Oh, and it may just have. What a wonderful shot. Incredible. Oh. To stay alive, Prince Edward Island. And that by that much. And is happy.
Well, a lot of teams are uh, watching this game, particularly if you're a Saskatchewan, because you need some help here as a Northern Ontario leads Prince Edward Island 4-3. We go to nine, and once again, the team from Thunder Bay has last rock playing the Yellowstones. Jen Gates throwing lead for the team from the Fort William Curling Club. Scotties will be in Thunder Bay next year. Yes, 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 Very close on this tech. Really good, Jen. Don't get in the rings. Nice shot. Wow. Uh, the uh, the new Secros around. Mosaic plays. Yeah. Hi, Bella. Team Wildcard looking very good. Jennifer Jones wins 12-7. So nine and one now for Team Wildcard. Manitoba falls to eight and two. Well, that might be the shot of the week from Suzanne Bird to save this game because it r rolls anywhere else. And it's a steal of minimum yeah. two, maybe a lot more. What a great shot. Yeah. Against five. Whew. Board weight inside out. I'm not sure we've even threw, thrown that shot all game. No. That's good. Shot. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit thicker. Those two techs will go a long mm -hmm. way toward a blank opportunity for Northern Aunt. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Clean, clean, clean. Whoa. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Archie. And Ontario picks up the win. Final there is 9 4 over Saskatchewan. So Ontario goes now to 9 and 1. And Saskatchewan falls to 5 and 5. And at the moment still has a bit of a, a, a heartbeat. But they need a Prince Edward Island comeback here and a win over Northern Ontario. No. A little past. Almost tight. Tight. Pretty tight. It. Nice the shot, Megan. Good. You kind of want those corners at about a 45 degree angle because everybody likes to hit half a rock on a peel. You don't want to hit a quarter of it or have to hit it really thick. It might jam. Keep it at a little bit oh. higher and then it could redirect onto one of those oh. side tick shots and you might get away with one. <laughs> and as you might expect, somewhere behind all that uh, media attention that you get when you are the home province from North Battleford, Robin Silvernagel having to uh, talk with the uh, the media. At the same time, I'm sure keeping an eye on what's happening out here at the moment. It's the only game left on the ice on this Friday afternoon. Suzanne just keeps moving these guards around, trying to not give the opposition the same shot over and over, the same peel. Make them look at something different. You might get a nose, a mistake. Okay. Wanted that a few feet higher. Mm -hmm. No, no. Oh, yeah, we don't want to tap them in. Can we? So, are you like trying what? it? No, I was no. gonna say we could go intern then. What's that? Okay, that's fine. If you like it, that's. You'd have to be incredibly unlucky to tap it in. You might be easier to, better chance of you hitting and staying here off that corner. Yep. Hard, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Okay. Okay. That's good. Stopwatch. Probably two feet less? Yeah. Or yeah. more than that. Yeah, two or three. Okay. Uh, tight. Still tight. 
halfway to tight. Halfway to tight. Felt like a few feet left. Line's left. good. No, no. That's good, that's good. No, no. Just to her broom. It's good. Good seat, Rosemary. That's a nice angle now. I think it's, it's tricky to Take it on the out turn oh, side. No. You almost have to throw in turn, I believe. <laughs> Probably the intern. Sure. Yeah. Cheryl, how much scoreboard watching have you done or do you still do? Let's, I mean, let's think here that PEI knows the scenario. They knew the scenario coming in. Clean. They're down by yep. one. Clean. They've seen Clean. Saskatchewan. Clean. I know they're playing just for themselves at the moment. They don't care really about anyone else. Good. Good. But Sorry, you try not to let it affect Sorry. your decision making. But at the same time, I'm thinking PEI Sorry. now. <laughs> For them, it's a force. Force Northern Ontario to the single? No, or do you let them have the blank and you try to tie it and maybe steal in an extra? Well, I think it depends on those ticks really to start with. Because if they're made, then it's really tough to get that force going. She's trying. Right around there. Um, okay. yeah. You're, you're not supposed to scoreboard watch, but you do. You just really have to draw yourself back to a, your game, your shots. I think so. It'll and and you can't base yeah, what the game you're calling or the shots you're throwing on another scoreboard. You have to really focus on what you want. Uh, they were trying PEI ultimately to force here, but not working out with the two ticks. Would you be happy then? I mean, if you force Northern Ontario Russ to a sink, right? They'd be up by two. Uh, we're back in, Are back you? 12 comfortable with the two-point lead or would you like this situation a blank and then you try to steal a, an extra that's that's a very debatable answer on that one two up with the five rock roll uh, is is not comfortable you, you can definitely give up a deuce in a heartbeat um, and the odd time you see whoops got to hang around here got to hang around okay Suzanne wow the um We've seen threes in the five rock roll and uh, certainly oh, twos. Yeah, uh, but, the, but the other argument is, can we steal against a great team in 10 and 11? Mm -hmm. It's it's really six of one, I think. And I think teams have scenarios they've played through the year and they know Northern Ontario that maybe they'd like the blank. They'd like to go into the 10th and mm -hmm. up one um, with the hammer. And uh, PI is a better stealing team. You know, mm -hmm. that, that factors in too. They're talking under the breath, uh, Cheryl. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> risking the freeze. It would uh, they've got the right word, risk? <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can really hurt. You can't give them a deuce. Then you are really up three. Go hard. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going oh hard. Gosh. Keep going. It's going back it. there. It's going back there. It's good. It's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Yep, 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 I got yep, it. Yep. Really good. Another perfect nice shot. shot. Great. Great shot. Right back eight. Nice wait. What did we say about Krista McCarville, about the pressure, what and about think? someone who's, as we what said, so think? technically sound? But here she is in a game, obviously, the, the pressure of the moment, knows her with a win, the right combination, she'll be in. So and she's team handling team. that pressure. Yeah. Oh. I don't, and I don't know what I she is thinking inside. I don't know if her stomach's going, you, but you can't tell and that's key. Because no, I think we all play off the opposition. You kind of <laughs> watch them, are they getting agitated and nervous and- What are you thinking? You tighten up yeah, and then you make mistakes. Yeah. Mistakes like, in calling and even in throwing. We have a better chance of stealing one, stealing the extra than if she gets two. There's the, uh, the, the argument. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Just, yeah. And then it's perfect. It's got to be perfect, though. That's I mean, way. I think we got to take a risk somewhere, so we either take it now. I don't. She's made every tick, so I don't like well, our. We could just do this extra. and hope she sticks. Yeah. And we have hammer and eight. Okay. Yeah. But I like her chances of getting three and ten versus stealing ten, to be honest. So 
I like freezing, even if she gets her deuce. I like our chances better of scoring the hammer. Three. Okay, okay. Well, that's to your point. So five rock rule will give you a better chance at two, no, one, but three. Oh, three? Yeah. She hits. I'm sorry, well, I was like, the oh, win The win percentage shot. up three without is 97%. Right. So there's your numbers. Yeah, so he's, you don't want to give up two here. No. So you're banking on a perfect freeze. But just make it good right on top of it. Yeah, let's go. You made it right to the button. To the center line the, the, this is risky. There's no question about it. You brought up a good point, though, that, you know, the ticks have been being made, yes. so are we going to steal? Mm -hmm. But you could uh, you could just hit this, right? Not that the tick's easy, but this ice seems to be really conducive to it because a little extra weight and it runs, it doesn't over curl on you. I think Suzanne's best chance is steal, steal. So just hit this one. They might not even make the blank. That's a possibility, too. And then you go steal, steal to win. This, uh, this better be good. Get back to it. Yep. a lot of them. Didn't look like Krista McCarvel slowed down uh, going through the slide path. Looks like the surface is perfect. Those are pretty good numbers. Oh. Oh. She's <laughs> going to make them freeze. <laughs> Has to curl. curl. No, don't touch. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Okay, okay so then. Yeah. Oh, that's my bad. It's a little bit in. That's how hard it is, yeah. isn't it? Right. You were doing it. That's a couple Just inches. Because you're 95% you in the five of them, it's still yeah, an almost like impossible yeah. shot. It's, they're tough. <laughs> now you not only need the three. Yeah. If this draw's made, yeah, but you yeah. still have to steal. You guys a little more, or a little less, sorry. Yeah, yeah, real similar, similar though, okay because we pounded it the whole way back. Yeah, same yeah. Or a little less. Real close. Let's go, Krista. Okay, a little less. Yeah. Okay. She was more same positive. shot, too. This is a dream situation for Krista McCarvel. A little bit wider. You can't tap. You're not at ours yet, but no, we're, no, we we're good. We don't, okay, don't need it. We're like back eight. Solid game on draw weight. Yeah, it's funny though. Again, well, if you're PEI, I would have, I would have tried to give it to her. Let her blank. Yeah. The reason being okay. that PEI had a game in an extra against Team Canada, and Team Canada stole the win. Northern Ontario lead Jen Gates gets us underway here in 10. We're still, yes, we did talk during the uh, commercial break, and now we'll relay that conversation to you. <laughs> so, so you're not, so we didn't, we didn't save all the good stuff for the commercial break. <laughs> but we're still in a, in a bit of a questioning, really, the decision by PEI to give up the two. The reason being. It's 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 five rock rule as you say is good, and it'll help. But three, the numbers say, what ninety seven percent? Ninety percent. Ninety percent chance that you're going to get three. And earlier in the week, when PEI was playing Jennifer Jones and Team Canada, they went to an extra, and PEI had the last rock. So. Team Canada played the extra brilliantly. They had their stone side of the button. They had the guard when it came down to Suzanne Burt's last. And Suzanne had to hit the pin and she was heavy. And the, the game was stolen. To my mind, down one to steal it, to force an extra and maybe steal it again. Yes. That's the way to go. Yeah, plus the freeze. How hard's the freeze? We just watched it with one of the best players in our country, and it's not an easy shot. Suzanne lost on a steal uh, yesterday to Saskatchewan, too. Yeah, it's just the numbers game. And you look at it, I know some teams have different experiences, but up three without, mm -hmm. you're winning it 90, 92% of the time. A little higher. It's not yep. quite tight. Yep. Pretty high. No. Yep. 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 Where? Off tight. Yep. Jen. Hard, Jen! Gotta be Whoa. tight! 
it's an awfully tight. long it's guard here. Tight. It's not tight. Whoa, it's not tight. Okay, well, whoa, 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 Dan. Whoa, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. So stop. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Okay. Okay, just pretty close to tight. Yeah. Nice weight. Okay. Well, it, what a week nice it's been for uh, Jennifer Jones. I mean, you play your way into the field last Friday night with a win over Tracy Fleury, so your team wild card, and look where you are. It's been a terrific run for her. And now with one game left, sitting top of the table tied with Ontario. Manitou with a loss drops to eight and two. All important, Northern Ontario now. A win by them would drop and eliminate everybody else, and we'd have our four teams. Seems like that wild card uh, team gets their uh, route to the final. I mean, you look back yeah. at yeah. Enerson. Enerson, that's right. She was wild card. Do you want me to go? Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Um, they're seeded what number three when they when they win it. Yes, that's a good team. That's uh, getting a wild card. I, I find it more fascinating with Jones' team because they didn't start off well at all. They won some games they shouldn't have, but that does happen. Mm -hmm. But they've gotten better and better, and that's the concern with that team, is they do. No, yeah, I mean, it's so not the uh, team yeah. schlub from the D-flight. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Eliminate some red ones here now. You only get one at a time at this point. They're all lined up nicely. has one covered Line's good. sitting top edge of the four PEI is making news look at this come in very nice very good nice shot what do we do Well, that. Their corner. We could that. try the run, and if we just roll over a bit. So which rocks uh, really okay, hurting? Yeah. I'm sure. All when you think like about it. it How about trying to? That, uh, trying the run and just roll over. The yellow guard that they put there on their own free will. No, like yeah. with the reds. But if we just roll over a bit and block the path, if we don't make the run. Yellow into the corner. Yeah, we could try it. it you actually like that. Yellow into the corner guard. Or the or the buried one. Buried one, yeah. Either or. To see, get the yeah, yellow yeah, ones yeah. hurting on that previous red. Yeah, yellow into the corner or yellow into the top one, but they're going to hit the red straight back, I think. Whoa! Yes! Yes! Hard! 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 Northern Ontario stone in. PEI does have Last Rock trailing by three. That moved, but I like where the shooter rolled to. That's the one that's concerning. You you can't get at this one because of that yellow one. And Northern Ontario put it there themselves. I I think you have to drag the play into the rings when you're three up. Tend to be so many reds with these lively stones, you can certainly make one double at some point in time. Okay, so then would you, Cheryl, have run up before they played that first one by by Kendra Lilly? Get rid of that guard, open it up? Yeah, I, I liked that. I, I would have played, if I was Northern Ontario, my first two in and then thrown a tight guard on my last one, but tight with the option of sliding in. Then they have to eventually deal with it, and that's when your chance comes up. Oh, they're by. It's good. It's good. Nice. Well, now they're sitting two and three, Prince Edward Island. 
Yeah. Same guards the problem. Yeah. yeah, but she has the in off for four right now. Like, yeah. Hit and roll off. Oh. Yeah, I don't mind that. We can call a time. I don't really know what to do. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to call a timeout? Although it's not even. Um, well, we might need to keep it for later. Time. And then if we're doing this. Well, we're getting rid of a rock, too, because I think that's yeah, outcounting that's us. Yeah, that's probably what we sure. have to do, oh, yeah. yeah. Or else we do this. I think this is a time when the uh, coaches might like to have a I flag. Think I really like the hit. And throw a flag out there and say, <laughs> I want to call a timeout. Because <laughs> okay, okay. they're getting into something here. And you heard them say, they've got a slash here for four. They've got a double for four PEI. I, I, I think, Cheryl, if you hit it right there, if you, if you nailed that... Uh, run back properly the top one goes this one spins and it spins right towards that one you might get everything dangerous because if he knows it or something there's going to be four red ones in there this defensive right call nine. here might not Whoa. help just oh yes oh. Really good, Kendra. Nice play. Well, it started quietly, and then Northern Ontario opened with that the steal of one in the uh, third. This is the decision, though, in nine by PEI to let them have a couple or try to force them to a, to a blank. Difference is three points now. And then, of course, McCarver out curling Suzanne Burke. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. Yeah, I think we can get it to center. It's really good. Control? Control? Yeah. There's a thin yellow double for Suzanne. So if they can roll this to the center line, get it out of the way, they're all buried, the red ones. Just control. control. Stay close. It's clean. Curl a bit. Whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. Michelle! Whoa, 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 whoa. On that leading whoa, edge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rolls it underneath. Jeez. And they are the shot rock for the moment, and they've got three in there. Brilliant execution here. One, three, and four. You can't make a mistake on that. Yeah. Would you ever do that? I'd hate to take your own out. But it, it's yeah, easier it's to get in there with draw easy. weight. It's just leaving all these reds in play. That mm -hmm. Top eight. Yep. There's the he run back change. right now for uh, PI to s probably sit three. I think so. The frozen one might spin out quite a ways. Obviously, the thin double. I, I like this call, too. Even if you tick that yellow one and move it somewhere, then there's no double. Wait, great. Top eight, top four. Top eight. Yep. yep. Hold it out there, Ash. Mine's good. Top yes, four. hold it out there. I don't like it. Skip still. Back four. Get it, Chip. Well Where? Yes. Christian McCarville. Yes. Whoa. It's back yes. four. Up back by four. three. Whoa. It wasn't Whoa. supposed to be Whoa. this way. No. Thought about playing the little tick and roll, and there she spills it in. She touched that, but that one, the stationary uh, rock. Okay. The stationary. I don't know if it really did anything, but. That's pretty good. I think that's good. Hmm? Yeah, I think it's really good. I'm trying to see what. Is there a triple? Yeah. Can you get enough of that one think? that was just thrown? Don't time? I don't think so. I don't either. You can't see. Have any of that? Enough of it. No. no. Boy, that's an inch away from setting up a triple to sit four. You see. Like, I don't think we need to. Uh, Talking about like, we just have to get rid of this one. That's the problem. Can we see the one from the hat? No, you no. can't see the one. No. no. Are you talking about running this guy and doubling? Yeah, just into here. the high of this. Even if he knows it, it's not. Even if, works. yeah, I was gonna say, even if you nut it, then you have the run. Yeah. Or so this. You, like, if you caught half of it, 
Like, I well, think I we mean, want to try and kick that seven sideways. Do I we? mean, it's not essential, but it's be nice. great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if we can we get hit, if we can hit this on the inside, inside yeah. that's perfect. So we need to try and get low on that eight? Low, yeah. Except we might block her run. That's, that's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah. We got to take some sort of risk. It's not going to roll too far. Well, I mean, that's our shot. Even if we do nose it, we, it's just a better angle. I think I the nose know. is like best case. Because then, then you still have you this still have and that you still and have that. that. I agree. Okay, I mean, ideally we get a hair low, but pro side is nose. Yeah. And it, I mean, like we can hit a touch low, make this outcome, st be very close to touching seven and not roll behind five. So I yeah. think we just have to play it like tight to nose. And those is okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, hey, let's go. Awesome. Oh, good. Kind of wait. Do you like that? What wait? Do I don't you think like nose works, roll. Cheryl, because it, it, you run it back, it kicks out one of those reds. It, it... See, up there, if you move it over there, and that one goes over here, and you think, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, Marie's mother. I think you gotta hit it a just little bit center line side. Off, you have to, yeah, because you run it straight back, you can kick out that red. Just normal. Normal. Yep. Well, if any team is going to do it. Score three to tie. It's this team. Oh, they got the wick. Wow, look at that. They got the wick. That was tricky. Yeah, you don't have to call it. As Kathy says, it's not. It's not billiards. So they were almost. They were almost sitting three rests. Yes. Yeah. A little harder. Yeah. <laughs> A little harder, <laughs> all buried too. So they are sitting two, needing three for the tie. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that works. Oh, she played so well a week, she deserves Ray, one. Do you know who's four? Rick Lang, timeout's right? been called. Northern Either that Ontario. Or just in so here. they're only lying two. Is that third? Yeah, 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 third. yeah maybe advance this. So you got the same shot you just threw. Is it there? Yeah, I have this. I'm oh, just. Yeah, that's a different different shot though. I still think that might different be different shot than what? Like, like do we what still, she just shot. I meant. Do we still have this? Well, what does no. she have no. for? Like, I feel like if you if you out count this. Yeah. If you out count this one. Well, she. She yeah, has it, then she sure can't she hit. Have win, what does she have? Oh, she'll she would have a hit and roll for tie. She'll have a draw yeah, right. for the tie too. Yeah. Well, a hit and roll. For it's the just tie. that if you go over there, she's gonna have a shot for uh, four, isn't she? If you try a freeze over there and you're not, not real good. Like here. I'm I do saying if you're like not really idea, good over obviously. there. If you punch this to four foot, she's got. She yeah. won't have that. We yeah. have to be like second, straight right? back to four yeah. foot. Can we make that? I'm not in line that way. Hair a hair high. Yeah, yeah let's a little high. cute though. Like, let's make sure we. Yeah, because even if we do leave it open, it's only for three, right? Yeah. 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 As long yeah. as we get this one set. Um, yeah. Punch it under shot. that red one. Right? Yeah. 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 I like that. Tap it there, yeah. and then even if you go to there, it's yeah. Good. So those two rocks are the key because if you can tap uh, yeah. this yellow one anywhere, if you just tap it to there, there it's now closer. So then it, you'd only be sitting bit. two I mean, if you're Prince Edward Island. So not too much more, but we're hitting. So at this point, you don't want to give up four. Yeah. So like bad remember. Four? Yeah. Okay. So come into ours onto that one. Then that would leave. You know I mean? yeah. I'm just that she's that would leave PEI the out turn draw for the tie. third shot. Mm -hmm. okay. don't, and I don't think there'd be a way of getting. If this tap is made, I don't think they can get rid of both yellows and get four, right? Don't think there's an A. We'll see what it's, where it stops, obviously. Krista yeah. could also get shot with this. Yeah, if you wanted to get bold. Mm. And all this is of their own making, Northern Ontario. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Wait, How much? You could angle that in, but you wouldn't want to tap it through because <laughs> then it would be hit for four. Final Hard. stone for yes. the team from Thunder Hard. Bay, Krista McCarville. Making it very hard. hard in themselves here, up Hard. by three. 
Help it over. Hard ash, hard and ash. roll it in and snuggle up beside. Really, really good shot at the right time. Are we second? I don't, I don't think they are second, though. I think it's still them. It's still uh, PEI sitting the twos, Russ. They were trying yes. to hit this high side. Yes. So I it know. walked sideways on them. And as I said, if you tapped it high side through, Cheryl, it's a hit for four. Why do it hit for four? Hey. They almost got it thin enough to come in for shot. Just on nose. Do you think it's two? They're sitting two? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like they're running it, so no. What? It's really close, really close. Okay. So red back straight. Trying to, yes, to back straight, feathered by, it's stick three. Wow. Okay, yeah, final yeah, stone, you're down by three, and right away, here she goes. McQuaid, all the way, that's that edge. They're trying to hold up this curl. Now, get off, run it back, bang! Oh, and through it goes, and then it spins too far, and they will get one and two, and that stone on the tee line at nine o'clock is number three. Too close for comfort, 6-5. Northern Ontario wins it, and they go to 7-3. And, and that will determine all four teams, as everyone has been eliminated now. Northern Ontario, two games clear. Ontario, Team Wildcard, Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. Tonight, we will sort out the page playoff and where players and teams will finish for the weekend. Krista McCarville and the team from the Fort William in Thunder Bay are through to the final four. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of curling Canada, by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue, nothing feels like cashmere, and by Home Hardware. Here's how. Chris McCarville signing some autographs before she goes and meets with the media, comes up with a big win to put herself and Northern Ontario into the final four. So tonight, we'll sort out the page playoff system and the where everyone will seed for the final two days. Rachel Holman against Kerry Anderson. That will be our game at 7.30 Eastern. Make a note, TSN 1 and 3 when we join you again this evening. Prince Edward Island made it close. They made it interesting and they put a scare into the Northern Ontario. But we now do know our four teams that will play on the weekend and we'll sort it out when we join you this evening, 7.30 Eastern, here on Canada's sports leader, TSN.